Hey guys, Ryan here with BoxGuard Security. In this video series, we're going to take a look at our Honeywell Vista 20P programming section by section. Let's take a look. Okay, so once we kill uh, and deprogram zones 1 through 8, we're going to go right into zones 95, 96, and 99. And we're going to go back to star 56 and we're not going to confirm them uh, we can go right to 95 star and these are going to be your emergency zones 95 is typically fire 96 is an auxiliary or an ambulance 99 typically police you can program them directly to the speed keys over here or you can keep the factory default settings of these three different button combinations which we'll go over later. So 95 we're gonna program that as fire so that's gonna become a 09 and you're gonna see that this is gonna uh, display the word fire there for that zone type. We're gonna leave this as a 10 report code um, and we will get into whether your system is actually going to report to a central station or if it's going to be a local only nevertheless we're going to skip right past this we're going to leave that exactly how it is right now we're not going to do any alpha programming this we are going to program as a zero zero we're not going to have any ambulance response we're going to keep this programming part as simple as possible police and fire. You could program this if you wanted to. Disable that zone. 99 is going to be police which is going to be a zone type 7. And the reason that we're going to program this as an audible instead of a silent is that if someone is in your house the siren will scare them out. You don't want a silent unless it's specific situations like a jewelry store or um, an actual home invasion type situation which that's an entirely different set of videos for right now to keep it simple if you press this button you want to scare someone out of the house so we're going to choose audible a zero seven and that's up to you to decide which is going to be best for your specific application um, and, and and there's a million different scenarios uh, I can give you my opinion um, on, on which one will be best but for right now this is just the programming part uh, 0 7 audible 24 hours means it doesn't need to be armed it can be disarmed and that will still work 0 7 same report code this is the first digit this is the second ends up as a 10 not going to program the alpha and that will take care of the zone programming for right now so we're going to hop right it back out of there so basically what we did was we took care of the first eight and the last three zones which are the only ones that typically come with any type of programming done to them so right now we have a clean slate and we know that when we program these zones or these buttons here on the side that we already have police and fire enabled and it's just one less thing to go back to again this is just one way to do it this isn't the only way this is the way that we program systems hopefully this will uh, help you with your learning curve um, after that we're actually going to go right to programming the speed keys which is star 57 and these are identified as A through D so this is A this is B this is C this is D we're gonna start with A we're gonna enable that partition 1 which is for most residential systems there's only gonna be one partition I strongly don't recommend complicating it with multiple partitions unless absolutely necessary and we will leave that as fire 
95 is already programmed and then the B button is going to be 99 police so this C button here since 96 is not activated we're going to change that to display time and then we'll do the same thing for button D 0 2 star so now what we have is fire police time and date time and date again this is one way to do it this isn't the only way this is something that works for us to keep it simple zero zero gets you out of that star 57 mode like I said before star 99 will usually work depending on what field you're programming zero zero sometimes is needed to hop back into this main menu so now we can go to star 20 or we can go to star 56 we can enter back into any of those fields from where we are there after this we're going to go into programming the actual RF keypad and I'm going to show you how to program an RF zone um, as your next step and this will change whether you have eight hardwired zones or if you have 16 hardwired zones and then you're going to start at zone 17 with your wireless um, those are going to be different videos and that's an entirely different conversation so for right now we're going to keep it simple I'm going to show you how to enable wireless contact to your 6160 RF and Vista 20 keypad